Alright, uh, today uh, mail pickup day, ano? and uh, I'm really excited on uh, what to get. So, let's go ahead and uh, check out uh, our mail. Huh? Alright guys, uh, we haven't done uh, this thing in a while, no? Uh, and I'm very excited that uh, we get to do this again. It's very exciting because, you know, it's week one and uh, we pretty much got uh, most of our stuff here now. Let's go ahead and uh, open these boxes, no? I was really excited already. I almost not filmed this. So let's go ahead and uh, start opening them. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, you guys. Check it out, huh? Here it is, the Akaos Chalk Logo Hoodie in the washed navy. The color is actually more like a purple than a navy color, you know? And uh, check it out, guys. That is uh, embroidered and it's really foggy. Uh, it's a medium size that is my size uh, we still don't know if we're gonna keep this but uh, it's very it's, I like I really like the color it's really uh, it's really nice oh actually I I'm very sorry the it's not really embroidered it's just uh, it's a print I don't really like that feel like uh, after a few wash it will wash off uh, I take it back guys. I thought it was foggy. I don't think it's foggy anymore. But here it is, the Kaos Chalk Logo hoodie. Not embroidered by the way. It's just printed there. I like the color. The, the wash navy, like I said, it looks like more like purple, no? It's okay. It's, it's not foggy, but it's not ugly either. Moving along. All right, and here we have the Rapa LT, you know? Uh, this is also a medium uh, thinking that I want this for myself. So I think uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Uh, it's the old school uh, 1990 uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Ninja Turtle. But the only thing is uh, Rapael has the Supreme Bandana instead of uh, his regular red bandana on his head. So, foggy approved. I, I like this. So, I think uh, I'll be wearing this uh, sometime soon, you know? Next up, we have... What the heck is this? Oh my goodness, I was expecting this to be a lot bigger than what it is right now. But here it is, the aluminum dice set, you know? Uh, focus. So here it is. It looks pretty cool. Uh, but as you can see, it's really tiny. I was expecting for it to be bigger, you know? Oh wow. The dice are actually uh, aluminum as well. Check it out. Very nice, very foggy. I can uh, really use this for, uh, no, not for gambling. Come on, guys. We don't gamble. So there it is, there you have it. The aluminum die set from Supreme. Very nice uh, case here. So uh, the die set as well is, uh, is aluminum, you know? Very nice, very nice. Move along with these uh, big boxes here. So first up here, what we have is... Oh my god, this is so pretty. It's a yellow house chalk logo deck, no? Oh my god, I like this a lot. Uh, I'm not quite sure if, uh, if I'm going to resell this or I'm going to keep it, but oh my god, this is beautiful. 
the color ano even though it's just yellow uh, i can see kind of a, a, a green tint in here so very nice very foggy it will go very nicely on our wall of decks so here you have it guys and not only uh, for the week one supreme uh, they usually give out a uh, pre-gift uh, this year, this season, they have the bubbles, you know? They have bubbles for their pre-gift uh, for this uh, season's Supreme. Let's check it out. It's very uh, sticky. Yeah, it works. Very bubbly, I would say. So there you have it. We have pre-gifts from Supreme. It's the bubbles this season, you know? Oh boy! Kite guys, the kite, the Sinit, the Sinit Pipe Kite. I don't know why I got this, but I got this. Uh, maybe I'll fly some kite, maybe I'll just display it. I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping that this will be a foggy uh, kite. You know? I'm not gonna open it yet, maybe uh, later in the spring, but here is the kite. Nice, very nice, very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next box here. Cha -cha -cha this one is the Black House Chalk Logo Deck, no? Oh my gosh, it's very hard to decide which one is more foggy, the yellow one or the black one. I don't know guys. I don't know which one I uh, I should keep or uh, resell, but both of them looks very uh, foggy, you know. Oh my God! Hard decision, hard decision. Anyway, let's move along. If I was a a, a betting man, uh, if I if I gamble, you know, I would really bet that this one is uh, Air Force One. Restock from Supreme. I am correct. The thing that I like about this is, uh, yes, it is just the normal Air Force One. Um, we did uh, get two of them. Uh, the other one has be, uh, been uh, weather delayed. But the uh, good thing about this is that this one is actually uh, a size 7. And uh, the one, the other one that is delayed is a size six and a half. Uh, for some reason, last year I did not see these uh, base sizes. I know uh, all of them are uh, either size uh, eight and up. Uh, this year, I think they have more uh, base sizes. I know the, the smaller sizes are now. Uh, I've been seeing them a lot more. So yes, as you can see here, it's a lot smaller. Than your regular Air Force One that you saw last year. I actually kept a pair for myself, and uh, yeah, this year uh, this is all uh, gonna be uh, resold. So here it is, guys, the Air Force One from Supreme. Right, moving along. This one is from uh, Put Locker. My goodness. Oh, thank you. Thank you because sneakers. See what we have here. It's the Silberto Jordan. It smells like glue. Yeah, Let's check it out. So as you can see here, uh, the Silberto. Uh, it does have a silver heel over here, and it does have a silver toe. Look at that, huh? Uh, it comes with the black laces and uh, a, a glittery uh, silver laces as well, you know. Uh, I don't know how that will look. This is a size 11 and a half for women. So uh, to translate that into men's, that's about size 10. And here it is. Uh, very foggy. Uh, very tempted to uh, actually keep this, but 
we're running out of space here in the new household but this is uh, this is really pogey though i did not i was kind of skeptical about this uh, pair of shoe uh, when it uh, surfaced about a few months ago uh, but looking at this right now it's actually a very nice uh, uh, pair you know and a uh, lot of blemishes on this to be honest with you you can see the glue on the hill uh, hillside right here uh, on the sole and then uh, you actually have a few scratches already on the hill as well you know you know the right side is actually uh, is perfect there's now there's really no visible uh, blemishes on the right side just on the left side of the shoes you know and uh, mm, nope it smells like rugby you know that's uh that's what that's what the other kids uh they used to snip it so they get high you know when you're when you're poor that's what you do you just snip rugby but uh here it is the jordan one silver toe high women's you know very poggy but smells like rugby all right let's move on to the last box here uh, it's not very surprising. Uh, it does have, it does say Quito, uh, not to be mistaken with Cheeto, but it's Quito. Uh, this is, uh, I believe, these are the uh, Quito wears uh, catacomb dunks. You know? uh, it's very similar to uh, what Warren Lotus was doing before. I, I actually ordered this uh, last year and uh, it was for pre-order and I actually just received it uh, a few days ago. So uh, it took a really long time. I was kind of expecting for this to arrive around November time frame, but I think due to the COVID, you know, uh, it, it got delayed and pushed back. So uh, without further ado, uh, here it is the Kito Wears, Kito Wears Catacomb Dunks. So as you can see here, the box is actually, uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's very custom box, you know, and this is a uh, size and a size nine and a half. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh my God, this thing looks like a, <laughs> looks, Look at this. It comes in a plastic bag. It almost looks like uh, what you will get uh, when you get uh, a really, really big pair of dunks, you know? Check it out, guys. So here they are. Oh my God. I do not like this at all. Anyway, it looks very deformed on the back. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's the way that they popped it, but it, it's very deformed looking. I know, like, look at this. If you see a dunk like this, you'll be like, this is fake immediately. But you know what? It's a custom shoe uh, from Kito Wears. It's, uh, I did just go Oh my God. There's a lot of uh, imperfection on this shoe, huh? as you can see here, check this out. The glue is just laying up front and uh, if you check out the sole, uh, you can see that uh, it's very, uh, let's just say it, it's really straight out of China with no uh, quality check, I know. It does come with the, the black laces and alongside with the gray laces here, you know, and uh, uh, one cool thing that they do, they, they did with this uh, pair of shoes is that uh, you can actually peel the, you can actually peel it to take it off and replace it. It looks like uh, a double-headed sperm right here, guys. I know and then you can actually just replace it. It's made out of velcro. Uh, it comes with the, I think it's a black and uh, this one is the gray. Uh, 
swoosh, I guess you would say. Uh, again, very... It's very poor quality. Uh, you know, I... I know that I was getting a custom shoes, but I was not prepared to see it like this. It's very uh, poor quality pair. Very poor quality made. I'm really disappointed on... Uh, on on the manufacturer of the shoes ano? and I'm just peeling the the excess glue from the shoes right now very disappointing but here it is guys uh, the Kito Wear Katakom version 2 I know uh, that's it that's all I can say about that disappointed in it so uh, pretty much everything that we got today uh, is Poggy approved except for the Kito Wears I apologize for Kito Wears but I am just telling them how I see it uh, with as much as you uh, the retail on this was is $150 the quality check is definitely not there and very disappointing uh, for the consumer I know I, it, it started up nice you know like the box the box was nice you know the presentation is nice and then you open the box and you're like this is fake I know it's not fake it's custom but it, it's just very fake so again you know like Everything started out really good from the beginning, you know, I enjoyed opening up my uh, my week one supreme packages, uh, even the silver toe uh, with imperfection, uh, I still enjoyed it, uh, and then it's really leaving me a uh, bad uh, taste in my mouth, you know, that uh, the last thing that we opened, uh, we were actually really disappointed on. Actually, you know what? Let me go get something else here that uh, I was so excited to open it that I actually just opened it real quick. Hold on. One eternity later. So this one for sure, you know, the, this is the, uh, the, the 190 Bowery uh, Supreme Deck. Again, this is from the week one as well. Uh, this one for sure, uh, I wanted it. Uh, the resell is not that good on it, but I really like it and uh, it's surely gonna go straight to the wall of our Supreme Skate Deck. Uh, when I saw it on the lookbook, I knew that I really wanted it and I wanted to have it uh, immediately, you know? So as you can see here, this is uh, their Bowery store in New York, uh, right up front here. So I like it, I like it very much. So this one is really a keeper. Uh, another thing that we are keeping for personal is their uh, su the Supreme uh, su uh, Spring Summer 2021 Duffel Bag. Uh, this one, uh, I was actually, I really like it uh, because it's very uh, subtle here. You know, the, the Supreme uh, symbol right here, it's actually just black reflective and uh, I actually really like that. It's very... It's not very, uh, how do you say it? Plushy, no? It's not plushy. Loud. Huh? Loud. Loud. It's not loud. It's, it's not loud. So, oh, actually, it's not. Oh my gosh. I thought it was just reflective, guys. Look at this. It's actually see through. So, my first time seeing, oh my gosh. So, look at this. So you can actually see what's inside your bag through the Supreme logo. Wow, I did not know that. I thought it was uh, just reflective Supreme, but it's actually, you can actually see your boxers. Are they clean? Are your boxers clean? You can actually just peek through right here. Oh, wow. There you go. This is uh, equivalent to a 55 double bag, you know? But uh, there you have it. I, I can't believe it. I, I did not know that this is actually see-through. This is the first time me checking out the bag. You know, even though I opened it, I didn't really check it out. But 
now looking at it like wow you have to make sure that your boxers are clean when you pack it here because they can actually see it if you have skid marks so there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed this uh unboxing videos of uh the week one uh let me know down in the comment uh, if you have uh, something to say about it uh, but if you enjoyed this go ahead and like that uh video uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so i know so next up uh we're gonna go ahead and uh do a tour here in the house on the next episode here uh we're still kind of fixing up the place uh, everything is still a mess uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh fix it up for you guys before i show it uh, but thank you again for uh, all your support and uh, thank you for watching. Kita Kids!